Hello and thank you for tuning in to Off the Cuff History. Happy Memorial Day to my fellow veterans and to anyone else who's listening. I hope you're enjoying your day. And uh, I thought I'd do something a little special today, considering that it's Memorial Day. It's supposed to be uh, honoring veterans and it's supposed to be honoring uh, those who came before us and fought for our civil liberties or freedoms that we enjoy. So I thought that uh, I'd give something back to that community, especially young guys who have done their four years and are deciding to go back to college and uh, give them a little piece of a uh, little piece of advice as to how to be successful in doing that. So uh, first and foremost, um, I know that you're going to be very tempted when you first get out of the Army, Marine Corps, whatever, to kind of sit around for a month, two months, uh, I worked really hard. I was on deployment, yada, yada, yada. You'll justify it any which way. Um, don't do that. And uh, you shouldn't do that because it's going to slump you into this plane of depression that is going to be very hard to get out of. Um, people, human beings as a whole, are creatures of habit and routine. And if you continue to let yourself just lay in bed all day and watch Star Trek or uh, drink yourself stupid... Uh, you're going to continue to do that. Find something constructive to do, whether it's school or anything else. Uh, find something, find a hobby, find something for you to do, and then hopefully uh, find a good job that you know could uh, be to make you feel fulfilled. But if you do decide to go to school, which you should because it costs nothing, then uh, here are a couple of tips for going back to school for people who have been ingratiated within the military system. And first and foremost, we'll start off with attitude. Have a good attitude whenever you go to school. It's going to be very difficult to mesh with these people because these are not people that you're used to dealing with. They are civilians, uh, and I don't mean that as a derogatory way, but like they don't have the same sort of scope on Army values, Navy values, whatever, loyalty, duty, honor, selfless service, integrity, personal, like all of these things. Um, they know what they are, but they don't act on them for the most part. They um, don't even think about them for the most part. The, the ends justify the means a lot for these people. And you need to make sure that you're cognizant of that before you're going in. So you're going to come in contact with a lot of people who are probably going to say things that are going to upset you. And the best course of action for that is to be open-minded, listen to what they say, and decide for yourself whether or not there's any vindication and any of the quote-unquote facts that they're putting out or like any of the messages that they're trying to get across to people. I went back to school whenever I was 32. How do you do, fellow kids? What? Um, I had dedicated my entire 20s to being in the Army and advancing my career. I thought that that was what I was going to do for the rest of my life. So all this stuff really was hard for me to adapt to, but I did adapt. And I did uh, create uh, connections and uh, build bridges between some of these people, even though I have nothing uh, morally, uh, sociologically in common with them. There's always common ground no matter what. And the best way in order to get what you need out of these people is to uh, attract flies with honey as opposed to salt. <clears throat> these people do not react well, typically, to... Um, overbearingness that they do not like masculinity they don't like um anything that has a whiff of conservatism uh they will shy away from and they will ostracize you they won't do it in a very uh open way but they will do it in a very slight of hand way i've seen it before and uh you want to make sure that if these people are droning on about some uh, communist weirdo nonsense just let them drone on and uh, you write your paper get done with their class get an a and just move on. You are not going to change these people's mind. They are they are beyond uh, saving most of them. So uh, don't don't even try it. That's number one. Number two. While you're there, make sure that you are paying close attention to the collaborators that are around you. Now, for the most part, I met plenty of cool people that I went to school with. Uh, they were nice guys. They were people who uh, were good workers. They had a good hat on their shoulders. They knew exactly what they wanted to do. But um, you'll also see a lot of veterans, too, that are there, and a lot of them will have the same type of mindset that you do. You want to glob onto those people as much as possible because they will uh, ultimately get you to uh, go, go through the gauntlet and, and to continue to go because there's going to be times where you get frustrated. You can lean on them for support. Um, I found two of them in the entire uh, 
four years that I went back to school. So they they are very rare, but uh, they do exist. And uh, most of the time you can see who they are because uh, they have beards or they have the camo hats or whatever else. But a lot of these guys are also there and want to be there. And it's not like a fly-by-night type of situation. Like Military guys are hyper-competitive. They want to do things well. They want to achieve and they want to win, essentially. And uh, it's good to be around people like that. You'll find other people other than military folks and veterans that are there. But um, make sure that you look out for those people. Loyalty is huge outside of the military. That comes without say while you're there in the service. Like you're supposed to be loyal to your to your soldiers, to your unit, to your commander. Um, that just kind of goes without say. But um, with people outside of that realm um, it, it's not second nature to them. So you need to understand that and you need to be able to kind of number one, shield yourself from the people who are going to be like constant, like detonating hand grenades and, uh, like flaming train wrecks of people. Cause you'll see them too. You'll see teachers like this too. stay away from them and, uh, stay with the people that you can trust people that you're loyal with people that will help you out whenever you're having a tough time. That is a huge thing. So finding collaborators, uh, more, more often than not, veterans or people along that same type of mindset, look out for them. Number three is making sure that you are not argumentative, um, that you're, um, I, I don't want to say non-confrontational, but like um, making sure that you're firm, but you're not, um, you're not being disruptive in this class. Like most people don't give a shit what you have to say especially teachers, and especially if it's something that they do not sociologically agree with, if it's like a moral issue that they do not like, do not say anything. It's just going to make things harder on you, and they're not going to change your mind. As Yuri Bezinov once said, who was a famous KGB defector, who said that college professors were useful idiots, he said these people are so drained in their own ideology that they're so part of this hive mind, I can take them to a gulag in Eastern Russia and they still would not believe me. And that's a lot of this mindset with these people. It's, 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 it's pretty much the same. There's nothing that you're going to say to change their mind. So you might as well not try to. The only people that you can talk to if you want to be an influencer is other students that are there and work with them and be nice to them too. Be nice to everybody. But um, do not be argumentative with these teachers. They're very petty. Uh, they're very, uh, uh, they're very jealous. Um, they're very, uh, they're very close minded, uh, which is unfortunate, but that's just what I've seen since I've been, uh, back to school and I go to school in Alabama, man. And, uh, I, I can imagine how, how much worse it is in places like, uh, New York or California, but it's terrible. I, I understand that you think, um, you know, like from the military, oh, we do sensing sessions with the commander or the platoon sergeant, and they try to figure out ways to like make things better for the soldiers that they don't care about any of this stuff. You need to understand that. And you're going to have to take care of yourself and you're going to have to look out for you. And that means uh, not upsetting these people and just uh, doing what you need to do and getting on with your life. So those are pretty much the three things uh, that are really important. The uh, supplemental lesson here also is to make sure that you do your work. Make sure you do it on time. Make sure you do it well. Make sure that you research everything, especially if it's going to be some sort of paper that is going to be uh, the antithesis of whatever this teacher thinks, and you'll know what they think almost instantaneously. I can look at a lot of these guys and say, like, yeah, me and him are not on the same page, or me and her are not on the same page on a lot of these things, and that's okay, but you need to be smart about it, and um, what if, if you're going to write something that is going to clash with their ideals and their morals, make sure you do it in a way where you are covering your ass, you are citing everything correctly, you are showing them primary source materials, not just secondary source opinion pieces, making sure that everything is indented, make sure, making sure everything is punctuated correctly, uh, pretty much like it, uh, treat it as if like you're getting ready to turn into piece to like the New York Times or something like that, because they will look for any reason in order to try to um, make you look like a fuckhead. Essentially, don't give them an excuse. Make sure that you dedicate yourself to your work and take pride in what you do. Anyway, that's all I got so far. <laughs> if, I, if I think of anything else, I'll let you know. But um, that's the big thing is um, make sure that you're being nice and that uh, you're not trying to uh, be too soapboxy and preachy to these people. 
finding a pool of collaborators, um, working well within the confines of people that you might intellectually disagree with and being, being the bigger person, essentially, and then working hard and doing the right thing. Those are very important. As long as you follow, follow those four things, you'll be okay. This is Off the Cuff History, signing out. Hope you guys have a good Memorial Day.